In the two years since the United States Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, legislatures in a number of states have severely curtailed a woman's right to abortion. And as Lee Cowan discovered in South Carolina, lawmakers standing in the way did so at their own peril. If the walls of Sandy Sen's office could talk, Palmetto State. They might not have that much to say anymore. One, two, three. Wow. The South Carolina state senator is stripping them of their memories. Well, this is where everything used to be. Senator Katrina Sheely, meanwhile, has her 12-year political career. Trailblazer Award. All crammed into cardboard boxes. And we found freshman Senator Henry Gustafson. I've been meaning to go through these things for a while. Sorting through emails from her soon-to-be former constituents. Do you think you'd ever get back into politics? I don't know. My farewell is conflicted because I don't want to go. All three lost in their primaries this past June. We've helped women and we've helped veterans. And what I'm so worried about is who's going to do that now? I don't regret a single vote that I ever took. And I would make the vote again. Mrs. Sin. That vote. No. In opposition to the state's near total ban on abortion, would be of little surprise if it came from Democrats, but these three are all members of the GOP. I'm a Republican, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure right now, do they claim me or not? If you look at my voting record, there's no doubt I'm a, a red R. But that one vote makes me a rhino baby killer. Republican in name only. We heard that a lot. They didn't just buck their party, they reached across the aisle to Margie Bright Matthews, a Democrat, and Mia McLeod, an independent. I'm super proud of my sisters because they knew what was at stake, they knew what they stood to lose, and they did it anyway. Do you believe that abortion is the number one problem facing the state of South Carolina today? Senator, I'm not going to get into those kind of well, kind then, of, can you tell me why we're taking it up for the third time in six months? This unusual coalition, on three separate occasions, successfully filibustered an abortion ban, halting its passage. Not only are we outnumbered, but we aren't even recognized. Not that they agreed on everything, they didn't. But as women and mothers, they agreed that banning an abortion at six weeks was time too little. We do not know when we're pregnant, when we get pregnant. If we didn't say it on the floor, it wasn't going to be heard. This bill is about control, using the Bible to say that you can control my body. Now, I'd say things just to rattle the men. Like, you know, <laughs> wouldn't you want your side piece to be able to get an abortion? And then all of the older men just looked at me and you don't say things like that. Maybe the men who wrote it know more about pregnancy than the women in this chamber who can actually get pregnant and give birth. At what point did you know it might be the end of your political careers? I knew at time I said it because my party it was like calling me and screaming at me. Two hours before the vote, I was pulled off the floor and had a very strong, intense conversation. This could be a career ending vote. I didn't care. I had to look myself in the mirror. They were the only five women in the Senate, in a state that they say has often left women behind. In 1920, they gave women the right to vote. Well, yeah. South Carolina didn't ratify that till 1969, and then we didn't put it into law till 1973. We are just a little behind. The filibusters were essentially their versions of mansplaining. When someone makes a statement, well, if you're raped or if you get pregnant as a result of incest, it's not the child's fault. You just need to learn to love on the baby. And that same right. senator held up a woman's picture and said that she told him that she was grateful to have been raped because it was the only opportunity God gave her to conceive a child, and I almost lost it. As a survivor of sexual assault, there are no words. They didn't have words for the level of anti-abortion pushback either. Taunts, personal attacks, odd gifts left in their offices like these spines that came with a note warning them to grow one. I got one hell of a spine already, but now I got another backup. But it got more intense and even more disturbing. We have one gentleman, 
I'm, I'm not sure what you call him that, that stands at the top of the escalator every day and he preaches to us. He has his Bible. Swings a baby around with a rope of noose around its neck. And he's been to my church saying, Trina Sheely is a baby killer. And she's Seven singing years. in the choir while he's doing this. Senator Sheely also says she had her tire slashed and a window in her home shot with a pellet gun. My kids and grandkids were seeing that. I'm glad I'm not going to be in politics because politics are mean. In May of last year, Senate, the sister senators could no longer hold off a vote on what is now the state's law, a six-week ban on abortion. And yet, not all was lost. We're fortunate to be able to gather to celebrate courageous leadership, which we need more than ever today. All five senators were recognized last year with the John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award. Now, I am proud of losing this Senate race just to get this because I stood up for the right thing. I stood up for women. I stood up for children. I stood up for South Carolina. Is a total ban something that people yeah. are for? The polling shows that 70 plus percent of women in South Carolina do not want a total ban. Right. All of us have stood up and agreed and tried to put forth a referendum to put it on the ballot. They said, we can't. Unlike 10 other states who will have abortion rights on the ballot in November, South Carolina doesn't allow voters that option. What is clear is that post Roe v. Wade, abortion rarely breaks down on clean partisan lines. What the sister senators have shown is that it's in that gray area where compromise, while costly, may not be as endangered as we all think. Instead of just attack someone for feeling differently on an issue, it's better to ask why. In a world of politics, we're constantly being told you can't do that or you shouldn't do that, and you're expected to be this way. We just broke that political social moray right in half. But you paid the price for it. We paid the price for it, but look what we have right now. We had this national ear for the most wonderful thing of finding common ground, respect, civility in politics. That is what we gain. That is what America gains from the sister senators of South Carolina.